Howdy folks, welcome back to SnowRunner. We are on the Rutland Highway Holland custom scenario. This is just a single map, it's not a region yet. There's plenty of expansion for that in the future if the map developer ever decides to go that way. It'd be nice if he did because this is, seems like a decent map. But um, for now, let's get right into it. You see before you a Crash Jabors and a Cat CT681, I think is the proper designation. It's um, it's the DLC Cat. Um, comes pretty much as you see it. I did not do anything to it other than adding the um, low saddle, which was free, and I paid $54, I think it was, for the stronger US mini crane. The stronger cranes, the, the stronger cranes are a mod that you can download. There are a few little advantages over the stock crane. Um, the points on that crane are not one of the advantages. That's something I added uh, for myself. So I have points anytime I inst and on any vehicle any vehicle that I install that crane on, the crane has points. So then that vehicle has points, whether it would normally or not. And this vehicle would normally not have any points. But due to the crane, due to my ingenuity with a XML file, <laughs> um, it has points. Same as the large crane on the Kras. The Kras would not have any points except the, for the fact that I built in some points to the big RU crane. That uh, fact is a stronger RU crane, just like a stronger mini crane. Anyways, enough on that. Um, let's take a look at what we're doing today. When I first came on today, the, let's get way over here, the radar trailer with the Got my hands shaking. Take it off the mouse. Um, the hooligan square body that I'd been pulling around the radar trailer with was clipped into the asphalt road and there was no way to um, remedy that situation without recovering it to the garage. So... Sent it back to the garage, sold it to get some money, um, bought the Kras Jabors to pull the trailer around with, the radar trailer. But I'm not going to do anything with the Kras just yet. I'm going to switch over to this cat and get a job done. Swift response that you see on the screen. When I came on today, that job was already um, on the screen. Tracking was already going. I had nothing to do with that. But I figured, what the fuck? Might as well do it. So we're going to take a couple of right turns. Go across the bridge. Get on the eastbound highway, go over here and do these jobs. Recover the CAT CT680 and recover the step deck trailer. The trailer is a low saddle. So, let's get going. Oh, what the hell is that? Is that because it's near the crabs? 
Okay, let me take it back. Or because the crane is on it? Let me recover it to the garage. I had no clue it was going to do that. Whoa. It was perfectly fine in the garage. Was that a... Uh, a one-off? No, it was not. It was not a one-off. What is going on? Oh, now it's going to do it in the garage. What the hell? Let me see what happens if I take the crane off. Okay, crane is gone. It's still wigging out. So it's not the crane. What the hell? Okay. Um, get out of that. Retain that. Go back to storage. What the hell is going on with that thing? Maybe we'll try the International. I could do a little more customization on this, but oh, but look at it start. Look at it start shaking. What the hell? Okay, retain. Let's go to the truck store. So many of these are too expensive, you know. Emil's Fleet Star. This one's only eleven thousand. One dollar, that's not hard to take. Put the off-road in it. So I didn't even make any customization to the cat because I only had fifty-three hundred dollars at the time. Whoa, that's too much. In fact, down here is better. Remember, we're on. We're on an asphalt road. In fact, I'm going to leave those wheels on it. I'm not even going to worry about the wheels. Meals Ultimate. That has some serious points. Engageable or just rear wheel drive? We'll just leave it the way it is. No, that's straight up all, that's straight up rear wheel drive. Unengageable all wheel. And then Not that. The loading crane. 
and a saddle low. Wow, that's got a long stretch on it, man. Holy shit, is that even going to work? Yeah, what the hell. Put a raised beacon on it. I'm going to leave it the stock front bumper. I'm not going to worry about the petty shit. See if we can paint it something different. I think none of these are a good looking paint job. They're all ugly as fuck. We'll put it down that one. Now leave garage. And let's try to do what we were doing. Why so much frame extension? Unless it's set up to haul, unless they set it up that way to haul the, um, the longer, the longer add-ons like that three-spot cargo bed that you first saw it with. And why am I not using one of the normal Kennys that I would? Well, those cost over a hundred thousand dollars. You saw on that list as I was scrolling through it, most trucks are out of my price current price range. which is why I was going for a free truck from the storage. All the DLC trucks are in storage, but two of them in a row are both wigging out. Well, I could go down there or I can go out the highway. You know what? I've never been on this road. Let's give it a try. A meal's load star. You saw from the customization menu, you can do a lot of customization on this. And I have used this quite a bit in past games, past maps, but it's been a while. I've been using the best of the best for a while. The Kras Chabors and the Kennys. There they are up on the hill. So. Even coming from the highway, I'd have to drag them up the hill. So why don't I drag them down the hill instead? Ooh, out of its range. Whoops, meant to hit that button. 
Well, we'll just see what we can do about that. I didn't put much lift on it. That's enough to drag it back down, I think. I was going to get up there with it, but apparently can't do that. Unless I go back to the garage and put more lift in it. On the wheels, perfect. Let's get the trailer down here. Look at this thing climb. Until it bottoms out. Yeah, like I say, I didn't put much lift in it. And now back down the hill we go. This one's not going to flip over real nice like the other one did. got to catch on something and it spun around before it caught on anything well don't that suck be a bitch flipping a trailer if there isn't a rock or something to keep it from just skating along playing the mouse game ah you lousy bitch All right, I have another trick up my sleeve. It's got to get the truck in the right place. feeding outline as I raise the boom. Now I'll pull the boom in and there it goes.
Wish it would lay down flat. I don't know why the damn thing is just sticking there like it's glued to the ground. Fucking lay down. There. Finally. Now I'll get this truck underneath it. bad boys around this is a nice step deck I have one just like it that is six spots instead of five all the the long frame is being a pain in the ass If I can drive the the cat, doesn't look like it. Nope, it just says escape. Won't let me switch to it. And I can't. Turn this bitch. I can't steer it with this truck. So it just goes straight. What a pain in the ass. When I had the right truck for this, but it. I had the right truck for this. Yeah, screw this. I'm done messing around. try one truck it wigs out I try another it's sitting there shaking like a leaf still in the garage try a third truck and the frame sticks out too far for this trailer screw it all Wasted 25 minutes on a stupid little recovery job. Drift in the corner.
Can't get on the other truck yet. Shove that one a little more out of the way. Get on this one. We're gonna little run a little train here. Oh, sure. When I jump out of the cat, it disconnects because I only have one vehicle. Uh, connected at a time. Oh, okay. It wants to play that way. I got something for that too. I might have to get closer. Yeah. No. Escape to exit the crane, then hit V. No top hook. It's going to tip over. It'd be so much easier with just a fucking top hook.
I'm gonna try drawing it up closer to the front. If not, I'll lock it down right where it is. Well, that straightened out the wheels, if nothing else. There we go. Now I'll lock it down. Oh, and trailers now? It never used to lock down trailers. Only trucks. Okay. Now switch trucks. All right, daytime. That was an awful short day. <sighs> Doing it this way, it doesn't matter that the frame rails are too long and hitting the trailer. It can stay straight and I'll just get it around the corners. Yeah, it's coming along pretty much doesn't have a choice now. The only thing that could happen is the the cat would fall off the trailer. See how the truck wants to keep going straight and the crest to bores just yanks it over. That's a little crooked from all the yanking and banking, but doesn't matter. So don't use Emile's International for pulling a trailer.
which delivery zone is this? Let me change trucks. Look how it's through the trailer. Is that the one for the trailer? And it already checked off? But it still says... I don't know. Just look at the map. Swift response on load. They're all bunched up one on top of the other on the map view. Got to get some separation. Now there's nothing there. There were two separate places. The trailer doesn't have a dot on it anymore, only the truck does. So I think what I'm going to do is unload the truck. And drag it around. To the other place. And I will bet ya, it'll be job done. There we go. Come on, let me move the damn camera. Yeah, that's fine.
can't turn the engine on back there. Let's go around to the other side. I'm gonna go past and then turn in. There it is. Second the nose of the truck hit the zone. Job done. Should be garage entry, but I can't change to it, so I can't put it in the garage either. All right, well, that's it, folks. We'll do something else in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you then.